let's look at calculating the angle of descent of a plane. The angle of descent is the angle that the plane needs to go down from the horizontal. So when you look at the angle of descent, you want to make sure you're looking at a horizontal line first, and then you're looking at it moving down. We're given an airplane flying at a height of 16,500 feet begins its descent when the end of the runway is approximately 61,000 feet from a point directly below the airplane. We're gonna find the angle of descent and then round to the nearest degree. These numbers are completely made up to give us a scenario to use for our calculation. So we wanna plug in what we know. We know the horizontal distance on the ground is 61,000 feet. We know the elevation of the plane is 16,500 feet. Those two numbers together will help us find this angle x. Now x is not going to be the angle of descent. The angle of descent will be 90 minus x, so we'll have two steps to do, one to solve for x and then one to find our angle. Looking at the 61,000 feet being across from x tells me this is my opposite, and then the 16,500 feet is the adjacent. Because I have the opposite and the adjacent, I will use tangent. Tangent of x is going to be 61,000 over 16,500. To solve for x, I use tan inverse. Tan inverse of x will be 61,000 over 16,500. Plug that into the calculator, and it will tell you that our angle x is 74.86 degrees. Now to get our angle of descent, we're just going to subtract 74.86 from 90, which is 15.14. Because the question said to round our answer to the nearest degree, we say our angle of descent is 15 degrees.